Like many of us, I've been in lockdown and semi-isolation for quite some time. In fact, since February this year, because I've got underlying health conditions. Um, and I've been struggling at times to find something to amuse myself, to keep myself occupied at home. It's not easy, I know. Um, it must be a struggle for many people. And one of the things that I have come up with, which is actually quite fun, and I've really enjoyed doing and it's kept me very occupied and challenging is animatronics. It's something I've always had an interest in ever since I saw um, early automata like the uh, Turk, the chess player and other things that were uh, made in uh, the Victorian times and before. Incredible um, designs and that inspired me to start in animatronics some years ago. Well I've gone back to it and I've decided to make a few simple animatronic animals. Um, it can be done very cheaply, you don't have to have a 3D printer and expensive materials. It can be done extremely che cheaply with things like Locarno, for instance, for construction and simple cheap servos, uh, radio controlled servos, uh, that cost pence. You can get 10, 10 mini servos for about £10. So what I thought I'd do is I'd just show you uh, the construction and design process of my first animatronic animal which I've chosen to be a squirrel because I happen to have lots of squirrels out in the garden and I can watch them and observe them and so that's what I'm going to do it's just a short intro into um, what I'm going to do as a series of modules showing you how I go about designing and constructing this and stuffing it in my squirrel <laughs> okay, so without further ado let's get into the uh, the start of this uh, first module which will be basically constructing the base and armature for uh, putting all these servos on and uh, getting your movements showing you how I go about designing it okay here are some of the plastic Meccano parts that I'll be using to construct this animation um, and they're available very very cheaply on eBay I think they're modern plastic Meccano because most of the original was metal but these are all plastic and they make great parts for like a base or a body part <clears throat> maybe the back or something there are masses of holes in them so you can arrange it in all sorts of different configurations and there's so many varieties of bits as well so I've been gradually collecting all this for weeks and months um, and I've got quite a little collection there now but the whole lot of that probably only cost about £30 and um, that's the major part of the animatronic these are the servos that I intend to use they're mini servos they are the SG S for sugar G for I don't know what actually 90 SG90 um, and there are loads of different types on eBay. Most of them come from Far East, um, China, and they're usually about a pound each. You usually get 10 of these for 10 quid, 11 quid, something like that, and they're perfect. Um, now, the other thing is mounting the servos. I've found some brackets, plastic brackets that are quite light and strong. They've got plenty of holes in them to fix them in different positions, and they're very rigid. And what I've done is I've cut them out and filed them to make a mount and a bracket for the servos because there aren't any decent servo brackets out there on the internet and I haven't got a 3D printer but this works perfectly. I've just filed and cut that and as you see the servo mounts into the bracket so now I can mount that onto something else and position it any which way I want to position it to get the movement that I want. These are brilliant. These are probably furniture brackets, I think. Something like that. You need to like, think outside the box sometimes. If you try and buy something um, from um, a robotics or an animatronics background, you're going to pay a lot of money through the nose. Um, but there are a lot of simple things out there if you trawl through eBay that will do the job. And I think you'll probably get half a dozen of these for a couple of quid. So that's perfect. A strong rigid mount for your servos. Right here we have the soft toy that I intend to use for my animatronic. It's a Hansa soft toy, kiddies toy, 
and it's perfect for this job. It's quite realistic actually. It's got some beautiful fur on it. And I'll take the stuffing out of it obviously. And, and then I'll get it to make the movements that I want. And it's got a nut. Let's see what that measures. Yeah, it's roughly two, 240 millimeters, nine inches, something like that. You don't want to go much smaller than that, really. It's, there are six and seven inch soft toys, but it would be a real struggle to get a movement inside that. I would start around about the nine, 10 inch mark to 14 inches. It would make it much easier to construct um, and you'll learn a lot more that way. It'd be a much easier job. So you've got a nice tail as well, so I'll get a nice tail twitch. And then um, a body bend like that, straighten up, and I'll have a head tilt as well, and possibly a turn. I might even have a turning head, and hopefully a chewing movement. So there he is, Mr. Squirrel. I think he was about 15 pounds, but you can sometimes get a used one. Well, there's plenty of other soft toys out there. We need to start with a good base. And something like this is ideal, Meccano. It's a nice wide, stable base to build off. And you can use something like this instead if you wanted something smaller, although that might not be quite so stable. When you're prototyping and experimenting, a nice strong base is ideal. Later on, when you've got your movement sorted, when you know exactly how you're going to build it and what you're going to use with it, you can minimise this and make it much smaller. And then possibly you can start using plastic like this, which is what I'll probably do. The only problem with these is that they're quite small pieces. They'll fit neatly inside the stuffed toy, but unfortunately they're not going to provide a very stable base for building off. So by the time you've built it up to 8 or 9, 10 inches, that's going to be very unstable and continually falling over. So it might be best to start with something like that. So here's Cyril the Squirrel. And the first major movement that I want to make with him is the bending of the body. So he's probably going to bend somewhere around about here, like that. Straighten up, bend down. So that's where the pivot point is going to be for the body, somewhere around about there, from the base there. And what I've built is this. Basically as a base, with a stanchion piece, and then that will be the pivot point there, which will pivot with the body. Like that, whoops. Like that. Okay, now the pieces I've used to make that are these. Three of this piece, which is three holes wide, which is why I found it's going to be the best width for putting this mechanism into the body because it needn't be any wider, or it won't fit. And any smaller, it just won't be big enough. So three is perfect, I found. So it's three of those. One of these, another, that's a three hole, or two hole. And that's going to basically be the piece that holds the body to the base there. And then there's some pivot bolts, which are also Meccano. These are available on eBay, used and some pivot plastic pivots um, they're spacers i've used two of those as well so if we move that aside you can see what i've built first of all that's how it's going to stand let's see if we can oh yeah like that that's better so here's a base that's a bracing piece a bracket that holds this which is the back it's going to go inside the body and that's the pivot piece there. So you're going to hold the head eventually and the arms. And I'm quite happy with that. That looks like it's going to fit inside the soft, the soft toy quite well. So the next thing to do is to think about how I'm going to animate this. How I'm going to put a servo in this to make that movement. So that's the next step. There are many different ways I can construct this movement using the servo. I could put the servo directly onto the pivot point itself so that this then becomes part of the servo but that makes a very jerky quick movement which I don't want. I want a nice smooth movement if I can so I'd rather use something remote 
like a link wire. So what I'm intending to do is to fix the servo to the side there and then use a link wire connected to the top piece so that the servo will then operate this movement. So the pieces that I'm using are for this a pivot which is a Meccano piece for an axle and axle pivot with a fixing hole and a one bolt which is a pivot bolt, a Meccano pivot bolt, a servo, a mini SG90 servo with a link wire as you can see and this is a 3D printed part I got on eBay. I don't know whether they're still available, but there are some wooden ones and some other um, plastic ones, I think, available. So if you look around, you should be able to find something. So let's fix that next. use a washer as a spacer because the thread's quite long on this bolt. Right, there's our pivot at the top here. And now we'll fix the servo on. the final construction this is just basically prototyping just to see if it's going to work do what you need it to do you probably have to modify it move it about a bit the body bend. Let's just t test that. With the t we'll test that with the controller. shot there we go yes I think with a bit of adjustment it's not too far off and that will give us a nice movement almost upright and then down and we'll adjust that to give us the movement we need but that I think is going to prove to be the best solution for that uh, for the time being For the head movement, I've decided to use a pan and tilt platform. These are generally used for uh, small cameras like action cams um, on quad uh, copters, on drones, something like the Mobius type camera, or any kind of camera really. And they have two movements basically, two servos, a pan and a tilt. Let's just demonstrate that quickly with a small programmer. This is real-time programmer. I won't go into the electronics at the moment. We'll do that later on. But for now, let's just plug this in, power it up, and demonstrate this working. Okay, so this is also a servo tester. As you can see, that's the tilt movement. You can tilt the head. And then if we plug in other server, get the right way around, we have the pan or turn movement. So we can turn the head from left to right. It's got quite a good range on it. So 
These are very, very cheap. They're all over the internet. eBay have them for about 10 or 11 pounds. And that includes the two surveys. So it comes complete and it's compact enough to go inside the head. Really isn't worth trying to make something from scratch for this. It's just got to do a simple job and fit inside the soft toy head. So it's got to be fairly compact. I don't know whether I'm going to use the turn movement or not. I might remove the servo and, <coughs> and that part and just have the head tilting up and down. Or depends on how much space there is in the head to get this in and fix it and how complicated I want the movement. But anyway, that's what we're going to use. I've decided to use this for our head tilt and turn. Next step is to fix the head pan and tilt to the body like that with a bracket. So I've made a bracket by cutting a Meccano piece. This is a three, four, five hole by three hole piece. You can see and I've cut that through leaving a three by three and that will bolt to the top to support the head pan and tilt. So all we need for that is a couple of screws and nuts and we'll fix that now. So there's a bracket fixed to the top. Nice and strong. That'll hold the head and the pan and tilt movement. And now all I've got to do is fix the pan and tilt to that. So that's the next step. So now we have the pan and tilt movement fitted. Let's give that a test to see what range of movement we have. So first we'll test the head turn. Okay, so very good range there, we won't need all of that. That's great. So let's try the tilt movement. We go. And again we'll test that. Oh yeah, that's a nice movement. Really range there, great. So that's both pan and tilt, so head movement sorted. Excellent. Next to tail. 